and Stoneyard Vineyards. What's going on? You're starting your raspberry brew right now. That's awesome. raspberry uh, beer uh, again today this is batch number 60 I don't know batch number 67 today it's a it's a raspberry beer we're watching uh, Todd at 21090 here he's doing a live brew he just dove in I'm ready to dough in here my water needs to be 164 165 right on the money so we're going to get that dough in, get the water into the mash tun here. But a 10 10. A Burn her 10 -10 off. Stuff. One hour. I sure am. You got to drain all that water. All right. There we go. All right, what did I miss? I'm sorry, the chat I've neglected. Anybody new that's come in? 22 people watching, I think. I don't have a thumbs up. Hopefully, you can tell me how many thumbs up. We're trying to do 100 thumbs up. Um, love, love that. Okay, what we do is we just let the water drain on a siphon from the stove into the mash tun through the hose here. When it gets low enough, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, dump the rest in there. And uh, the malts are all already broken up here in the pail. Here we go. Got everything all ground up. That's ready. We didn't show that on camera. So on with it. As soon as the water's in here, we'll stir in the grains, put the cover on it. We'll be mashing for one hour. Raspberry brew. This is the fourth, fourth time I've made this one. Going in with the raspberry. We don't have to stir it a lot, remember? This is the fourth time I made this uh, raspberry beer. It, it takes a 49 ounce can of Vintner's uh, raspberry puree. Like I said, we can hear 21090 in the background doing a live uh, brew. Todd has actually uh, beat me on the dough in by about five minutes. Not that it's a race. Temperatures. Yeah, I gotta get my temperature here. <laughs> so here we go. You want to come in at 151, 152 at the most. Oh, this is nice. 151. A little lower than we'd like to be. Just one degree lower than we want to be. Of course, each gauge is different. This one says 151. Never trust one gauge. We're good to go on this, so we're going to get the cover and we're mashing. All right, uh, here on the uh, raspberry brew, we're starting to verl off. Into the pitcher down here, and then we'll dump it back into the uh, mash tun. Uh, circulate the uh, without damaging circulating the grains too much. So there's a good full pitcher there. I'll let this drip out a little bit. Set that in a the funnel there for a minute. 
I'll pick up our pitcher, a wart. Hey, look who's up there. Live. It's uh, Pusa Studios with 21090 Live. And a live brew. Sorry, guys, I got a movie out of the way. I got to dump this word into the... I got to dump the word right back into the mash tun there, Todd. You know how that goes. I'm sure I'm going to drop the iPad, too. So let's get this process going here. I pour it in slowly. I don't pour it over a spoon. I used to. I got a good false bottom on this mash tun. It works really, really, really good. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go right to the boil kettle right after this one. No, I'm not. I'll do one more. Why wouldn't I? Let me do one more. Why not? And fill up again. It's the Verloft. Vorloft. All right, we're going to shut this down. And I'm going to let this go off to the boil kettle here slowly as I uh, do the rest of the boil off here. Get the process going. Let me get this back into the mash tun. And we are draining right to the boil kettle as we uh, do this. I do a single infusion. If any sparging needs to be done, it's usually maybe a quart or two. I might press the grain bag today with a, uh, a cover. I'll show you how that's done. And we'll see how that comes out. What the uh, gravity of this, this uh, mash is going to be. Two ounces, or I mean, one ounce and a half of... Uh, 2018 Cascade homegrown hops here. I'm going to try to get these into the muslin bag by myself. It's not always easy. You're doing it yourself, but I can do it. Turn it upside down somehow and shake them out, buddy. <laughs> Don't forget to remove the plastic. Yeah, it's not easy for the leaf hops. Where's my helper? Oh boy, there we go. Well, that's what uh, a lot of leaf hops look like spill on the counter. Another reason I don't go live. I'd be swearing right now, I bet. Beep! Ah, for crying out loud. <laughs> when they're frozen... They're easy to put in here. Oh, this this is not working out. Okay, we finally got the uh, one and a half ounces of hops in the bag there. Normally I have them frozen and then and, and, uh, they go in easy with one hand when they're frozen. But these were unfrozen and they were dry. I had to pack them in there and needed to wipe the whole of the bag open for me. So here we go. One and a half ounces of the Cascade hops. We have uh, 21090 in the background still uh, going there with their brew. Todd says I was ahead of him. I'm not really sure that I am, but it doesn't matter. I'm not racing. Nobody races there. So, it's just going to be a good raspberry brew. The fourth time I've made this one. So, there you go. I put them in a muslin bag, leaf hops. We won't bore you with the rest of the boil. It's just a nice boil, nice color. Everything's going good. You got to clean up the dough. I got to get the work chiller ready, as usual. But I'm going to take a break now and have a home brew. Brewing the, the raspberry beer for the fourth time. We're going to get a, a home brew here. I dial down the, I got a dialer down or whatever they call it for foam. Shut it right down if I want. Got a lot of foam here. A lot of foam. Should have left the dial down a little bit. But this is our chocolate stout. There's a big head on that son of a gun, isn't there? That's a big head. All right, uh, I poured myself uh, a home brew here at 12:57. We're on with the boil yet on the uh, raspberry brew. It's still going. I got the iPad set up over here on the wife's toaster. How you doing? 
And we got Todd on there. So much better. He's I'll doing a live stay broadcast. Stay All right, cool. So stay and we've been in and out of there talking to him a little bit during the chat there. I'm not too good at the chats there, so I pop in, I say hello, how you doing to people, and I'm surprised to see he was uh, brewing the same morning I started. I'm like, it's not a race, but he's ahead of me. I see he pitches his yeast later. I go right to cool down with the work chiller. I use the work chiller. I got it in a sanitizer right here in the kitchen. And ice cold water off uh, Lake Erie. It's ice cold. I can chill this uh, uh, batch down within oh, about four minutes, believe it or not. I can chill it right down to uh, uh, east pitching temperature. And that's what we do. All right, I got to taste this beer. Well, why don't I do it on can here? Again, I did a taste test on this last week. Oh, chocolate. Awesome. Okay. All right. Good tasting beer. Good tasting beer. We got the ladies here. Maybe I'll pull the dresses up and show you. It's the pear wine. Oh, she's nice and clear. This is the peach wine. It's a dirty carboy on the outside here, but she's clearing really, really nice. Here's the uh, cherry mead. Ready for racking. Now that I'm looking at it, i got to rack that probably this uh, weekend. And here's the uh, wine, fruit wine. Doing really nice. She's ready for a racking, too. This is empty. We'll be brewing another beer there. It'll probably be another IPA. But we're out with the raspberry brew here because we love it. Uh, brew number 67. I don't know where I put my, excuse me, my brew sheet over here. Yeah. Number 67. Oh. All right. Uh, last 15 minutes here. On the raspberry brew, two ounces of citra and two ounces of Willamette in the same bag. They're into the, into the boil. 15 minutes to flame out. Hook the work chiller up. We'll be cooling down, pitching the yeast. We're going to be using US05 today. So uh, on with the brew. On with the, uh, the home taste test. On with the, uh, <laughs> on with the home brew. <laughs> We're still going here. We'll be flaming out in 15 minutes. That's uh, 15 minutes. Uh, Warflak tablet. Warflak tablet for clarifying. Uh, spoonful of yeast nutrient. That's in. So, yep, 15 minutes to flame out, whatever I said before. So, here we go. Work chiller on on the strawberry brew. It's been on two minutes. And we're down to 160. You can't see it. Actually, 160 and dropping fast. Let's see if the camera picks that up or we got a lot of steam again. We'll set that in the center of the work. To, it's a sterilized gauge. Yeah, a little different in the center. 165 it is yet. So it takes a while to cool down. And we'll just give it that time it needs. And then we'll pitch the yeast. Why wouldn't I? All right, pitching of the east, USO5. <clears throat> Sanitized scissors. Okay, pitching of the east. Just throw it in there evenly. That's the end of that. Take your cover again. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. <clears throat> and she's on. <clears throat> Bubbler. Bubbler. Ciao, buddy. It's a long brew day. Gotta clean up the hot bag. Oh, that was hard. Alright. 